Hi, I'm Tom Wheat. I'm a principal scientist at Waters Corporation. I work in the separations laboratory testing new technologies and looking at ways we can combine and assemble and operate systems to solve challenging analytical problems. Lately, we've been doing some work on chromatographic methods development. One of the most challenging and difficult problems is the sample that includes both very polar and very hydrophobic compounds. We often have to consider different modes of chromatography in this case. Reverse phase is the most generally useful technique, and it certainly works well for the hydrophobic materials. Many complex samples, however, include hydrophilic compounds that do not retain well in reverse phase. An alternative mode of chromatography called hillock may sometimes be suitable. Hillock is short for hydrophilic interaction liquid chromatography. It is based on column packing materials with a polar surface layer and is used with a less polar organic mobile phase. The analytes are retained in a high concentration of organic solvent, usually acetonitrile. They are then eluded with an increasing concentration of water. Hillock is a good choice for extremely polar compounds that do not retain well in reverse phase but we want to address the samples that have both very polar and very nonpolar components. An example is shown here. The components of this nutritional supplement or nutraceutical include glucosamine for the support of growth and vitamin D for promoting synthesis. One option is to analyze the sample by both chromatographic modes. This can be done in separation methods and runs that run on different systems. We would, however, like to make the assay more efficient and more flexible by automating both methods on a single system. For that approach, we configure the system in a particular way. Of course, we use a column manager containing both the reverse phase and the hillock column but we make specific choices in the rest of the system to accommodate the disparate modes of chromatography. Hillock and reverse phase use different mobile phases and the elution gradients are run in opposing directions. To efficiently execute the different methods, we choose to use a quaternary blending system, the Acuity UPLC H class. The pump blends the solvents from stocks as needed for the chromatographic mode in use. We use the same stocks in the four solvent reservoirs, water, acetonitrile, formic acid, and ammonium formate. Each separation uses its own programmed method. This is the reverse phase method. It uses a gradient from reservoir A to B while drawing modifier from C. And this is the hillock method. It uses a gradient from reservoir B to A while drawing the modifier from D. We also have to pay attention to the injector since the solvent delivering the sample to the column affects the chromatography. The two modes have opposing requirements. By choosing the flow through needle of the acuity sample manager, the sample is delivered in the initial strength mobile phase for either selected method. Finally, the two components of this sample have very different detectability. The vitamin D is a good UV absorber, while the glucosamine is completely transparent. So we use the parallel detection with the Acuity QDA mass detector and the Acuity UPLC PDA. The column flow is delivered to the two detectors through the isocratic solvent manager. A split and dilute technique ensures that both detectors are in their respective linear ranges. The result of this analysis in the reverse phase mode shows good retention of the vitamin with good detection sensitivity monitored in the UV. The glucosamine is easily observed in the QDA mass detector but it is unretained, so the quality of the analysis is suspect. With the hillock separation, 
the glucosamine is well retained and suitable for quantitative analysis. To summarize, we've been discussing the approach to common analytical challenge of a sample that contains both very polar and very hydrophobic analytes. We combined instrument and column chemistry properties with unique detectors to provide a single automated solution. To learn more, please go to waters.com QDA. I'm Tom Wheat for Waters Corporation. Thank you.